Hello everybody, today we're going to be making a Dean MP server. It's a bit more complicated than you think. First, you're going to need a web browser of choice. Next, you're going to go to beammp.com or the first link in the description. Instead of downloading the client, we're going to download the server. Should save to your downloads. Then you're going to open your folder. Minimize your browser for now. We're going to right click, new, folder, name it, whatever you care, or whatever you want, it already exists, and you're going to take your file in here, and we're going to drop it into there, open up your folder, you're going to execute this, so just double click on it, if it says, if this shows up on your screen, click more info, and run anyways, see, it'll make your server, it'll say, can't find the auth key, so we're just going to close it for now. And then you're going to open your server config. Kind of move it off to the side. And just to say you don't need a fancy notepad, I just happen to have it. Now you're going to open your browser back up. And you click the little plus button. You can either type this in, or you can go to the link in the description to grab it. So you're going to go to Keymaster Beam MP. It'll be the first link. And you're going to log in with Discord. This shows up, you're going to click Authorize. It'll load. And you're going to go to Keys. You're going to click the little plus button. And you're going to name your server whatever. So. Create. And you're going to hover over your little thing here. And you're going to select the full thing. Right click. Copy. Go to web browser. And then go over to this little auth right in between these two quotations and click paste. You don't want to get rid of these little quotations because the server won't know what code you have. And you're going to go up here, file, save. Okay, minimize. Back to your BMP folder. And open this up. It's going to start, make some files. And see, all systems start successfully. Everything is okay. Now, you can close the server back again. I'm going to show you what you can do in this uh, file. You can change your server name. You can change your port, but I suggest you don't change it because I'll have another video that is port forwarding this port so your friends can access it. You can log the chat, you can have it set the tags, you can set it to private, you can set how many cars the people have, how many players your server can support. I don't know, I'll put one in 20. And then you can change the map. Now to change the map, you're going to want to go to your Steam, go to Beam and G, go to settings, manage. Browse local files, or minimize it, go into your content folder, levels folder, and look at the maps. So all these maps are in here. All right, and let's say I want to go to East Coast, because I know most of you will want to go to East Coast. I double click on this, and you say it, sees level, it says levels here, right? And then it says levels, right? And you're going to click on it, and see this folder? You're going to right click, which you're going to... You should look at it. It says East underscore Coast underscore USA. You're going to go in here. Soft East underscore Coast underscore USA. And then you can edit. And then you just click File. Save. You also got your description too. If you want to change the description. And that's about it. And then you're going to go Close. Close this folder. Start your server. We'll start. You're gonna go and launch your BMP. Don't cle don't close either of these CMDs. Launch. The game's gonna end. Okay. Now you're gonna go to multiplayer. Direct connect. Now your friends would type in your external IP, which I'll show you how to get in a minute, or in the next video. But for you, you'll have this special little ID, this special little IP. And you should click connect to. Okay, now you're in your server. 
ignore this in the light right side of my screen. This is uh, my problem. And you click escape vehicle on the car. Should be all good. And you can, in the next video, I'll show you how to port forward your server.